desperate. This is Messing with Koala, aka Waking Up the Rookie. <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> oh, I ran out. That, that was hilarious. <laughs> All right, Paul. So we're back out to the field. Uh, gonna show us a few more tips regarding field practice. What do you have for us today? Today, um, I just brought out my this from my bag. That way to make it easy for anyone who's going out to a field if you don't have extra discs, you know, spare ones. Uh, this is pretty much the easiest way to learn your bag. So the goal for this first drill I'm going to do is there's a sand spot about 200 feet away I'd probably say. And uh, I'm just going to take my mid-ranges right now and try to land them as close to that sand spot, if not in it, um, as possible just to gain consistency and to learn my disc more. Because I know how they fly, but I want to throw them the line that they fly on into that sand spot. So uh, let's start with overstable. Go with the gator first. A little long, a little long. Let's go with the P2. Stand still too. Another rock three. Another rock three. This one's a little straighter, so I'm gonna try to just land it directly into that sand. Same exact this right here, same shot. Alright, and then little mystery rocks right here. Uh, let's try a little, little slight turnover. like those last two rocks right there. Bad. All right, Paul, so what are you gonna demonstrate for us next? Uh, I'm gonna practice some more upshots. I have my bag set up out there next to the goal post and I'm going to try to put these as close to po as close as possible to my bag but also keep them inside the goal post. So when you're when you're doing this, you know, you want to are you trying to put the disc right underneath the basket every time? Are you trying to throw it in? What is what are you aiming for on these type of shots? The main goal is to get as close as possible, but what I like to do is keep it in I guess you could call it a comfort circle is you got 30 feet left of the basket, 30 feet right, long and short. So that's my comfort circle. If I put it in that circle, I feel nine out of 10 times I should make that putt. So I want to put it as close as possible, but if I don't put it right into the basket, I'm fine with that. So I'll keep it in my comfort circle. 
I got my gator and my two overstable rocks, which I will put on a hyzer line as if there's stuff all guarding the left and down the middle, so I have to go high and right. And then I got my rocks right here, that tunnel shot. Pretty much focusing on a tunnel shot down the goalpost the whole way and land as close as possible. And then I got my maple threes with the turnover as if there's trees guarding right down the middle and the right side. So I'll start with the putters. Are they deep? About five feet away. In the net, it's still only about 10 feet, 10 feet from the bag. No rock. A little lower, let it glide left. Same exact spot. Same shot. Same spot. Now these are a little more seasoned rock threes, so I'm gonna try to go right down the middle. Keep them in the goalpost as much as possible while I swing it to the right side a little bit and let it just drop straight down on the bag. straight but I hung it too far out right. Let's try uh, moving this one a little bit more left. Oh. That'll work. And then these are some new rocks that are coming out soon. Um, they're real versatile, versatile. And then uh, I'll put one right down the middle and then one on a little soft hand. Now let's try like there's you know, trees garden right down the middle and the far right side, so I'm going to have to try to put them up, up in the air and let them fade into the bag. Um, this wind's not ideal, but you know, you don't know what you're going to face out there on the course. You can see the wind just pushed that one down. Uh, so the adjustment I'm gonna make is throw it just harder and let it get pushed down. But as long as I have the distance, I can still land it in that comfort circle. So I think all but one of those is inside that circle. So. You know, there's pretty good chances I'll make all those putts, but, uh, you know, let's walk up there and see how close they really are. So, here's a look at where they all landed in comparison to the bag. Most of them are well inside the circle. A couple pretty easy tap-ins. A few that were heading a little bit long, but got caught up by the net. Still very close. A couple more straighties. This is the furthest one here. Probably just outside the circle. Probably about 35 feet. But uh, 9 out of 10 isn't too bad on upshots from that distance. Lay it up.